So hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about ACS Code of Ethics. Basically, ACS stands for Australian Computer Society, which is an association of computer information and communication technology profession. So they have stated some code of ethics that are to be followed by every individual or group that is a member of Australian Computer Society. So we are going to talk about the code of ethics so the next question arises is what is the code of ethics it is a set of rules of principles of conduct that governs an individual or a group to maintain high standards of competence and ethical conduct as an acs member you must maintain honor dignity and effectiveness of being professional in addition to be a good citizen you should also follow the code of ethics so let's discuss the code of ethics with respect to the managers in detail now so the first one is the primacy of public interest according to this code being a professional in your job you should also maintain the interest of public above your personal interest that adhere or that change that have an effect on the people's interest in any sort of manner so the next one is enhancement of quality of life the product or services that are being provided by the manager to the people should always focus on enhancing their quality of life health and safety is the most important aspect that needs to be taken care and the third one is the honesty in work environment managers need to be honest in representation of their skills services and products for example the project manager should tell the client or the stakeholders real time estimates of their projects that are being under control by the manager so the next one is competence managers are supposed to be working proficiently for the stakeholders and company and should accept the responsibility of their work the fifth one is professional development ethically managers are required to enhance their knowledge skills for their professional development and for their staff sixth one is professionalism managers should maintain their professional standards then improve and enhance the image or of their company or it industry so following up the next session of our presentation we have we will have a look on the newspaper from sydney morning herald which is related to the code of ethics so the government id companies are introducing digital services for the public but the government id companies are mostly concerned about their own profit since we are more gonna talk about the managers in this course so managers have an important role in maintaining these id companies managers of these government agencies should follow the code of ethics and should place people in trust of public they are better for public services rather than focusing on companies on revenue for example census was was made digital this time but failed because of the lack of competence and professionalism so according to the acs code of ethics they say that it is applicable to all acs members regardless of their role or specific area of expertise in the information and communication technology industry and that is all for today thank you for watching the video have a good day